Hi, my name is Kevin and I am the Bad Bat Gardener. In this video, we're going to do a little bit of a different project. We're going to be working inside here and I'm going to be modifying one of my kitchen cabinets. Uh, I'll tell you why. I'm going to modify it to uh, create a swinging out section for smaller items. And what I have now is I have a small cupboard over here. It's only about seven inches wide. It's, you can't really see it from there, but it's only about seven inches wide. And I use it to keep uh, such things as medicines and all that stuff. But anytime you need a medicine, you end up digging through it. And the medicine all ends up piled here of the more common ones, just Advil and all that stuff that if there's a cold going on, somebody's got a cold or anything like that, they end up being piled here instead of putting back in the cupboard because it just creates a huge mess. So my idea is to take another cupboard that's not real super organized, which is this one here, which I keep vitamins and stuff like that in and some plates on the bottom. It's just a, and vitamin C and all this, all that stuff in there. And I want to make that, arrange that better. And what I want to do is make a swing out section here to put the, uh, smaller items in so they're on display you just grab it get the pills out put them back and i can swing it back in the cupboard I'm not really using this this part of the section here for storage too much other than for that stuff as i as i said so that's what we're going to do we're going to take this cupboard and modify it and i'll show you how i'm going to do that okay to get started here i've cleaned out the cupboard I've taken everything out of it. I've moved the one shelf up from what it was before. And I have fabricated what I'm going to put in there um, as my new shelf, as my new organizer. Um, and so what I did was I went out and I bought a two by four piece of maple plywood. And the maple, I bought maple because uh, it's clear and actually the inside of my cupboards are a maple finish as well so it should match pretty close uh, for the most part so what I did was I, I took and there's the cutting list I took out of that two by four piece of plywood I cut uh, some the pieces out and this is this is what I come up with so I, I cut out a, a main part here and then I got two two side pieces put in some shelves and some and some side pieces to keep this stuff from coming out so I'll be able to put the medicines and stuff in that then I have a piano hinge I mounted on this side here and that's what I'm going to mount to this side of the cupboard so it will swing out and then hopefully it works out good that way so the next step is we're going to mount this in the cupboard here we got to put uh, five screws in the cupboard here for the piano hinge and I've taken I've taken and I got a couple spacers here and I'm going to use those I'm putting those underneath it and then I'll pull them out after I get it mounted and that'll let me keep it up above the shelf and be able to work with it at that point so we'll get started with mounting here I have a stool so I can climb up a little bit here and get to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is mark my holes where I'm going to because I got to drill a pilot hole so I don't split any of the wood. Drill a little pilot hole for the screws. What I'm going to do is mark the holes for the piano hinge to go into and so I don't split my wood up here. Now I'm using two, two pieces of plywood as a filler piece to slide in there. And so I'll pull them out after I get it mounted. It just kind of keeps it, it's going to raise it up off the shelf.
the screws come with a little screw comes with a flathead screw comes with a piano hinge I'm gonna put two in just to get it mounted and then I'll draw out the other three and it helps if you have the right bit in the screw They work better that way. Okay, so we got our five screws in. We got it all mounted up now, so she swings out nice. We got access to both sides of this unit. And you can also put a small shelf in the back. It's a thin, sh put a thin shelf in the back that the, this will just butt up against for more storage if you wanted to, uh, I, which I may do that. So I will show you a picture of what it looks like when I've got everything all put away here. And uh, you can see with that, how much better organized it'll look here. So thanks for watching. Catch up with me on Facebook. You can also email me at bbgardener at zoominternet.net. Send any comments or pictures of what you got going on or if you want to inquire about how to get a Bad Back Gardener t-shirt, uh, you can find all that information out there or you can also message me on my YouTube channel as well. So thanks again for watching. If your back ain't hurting, you ain't working.